Hello, buddy. I'm Ned, and today I'm going to do a documentary on dog fishing. Dog fishing is where somebody pretends to be someone else online to in aid of getting money out of an innocent person. Today I'm here to see Jeff. Let's go inside. So what made you think you were being dog fished? Well, initially it was actually my sister pointed it out. She works for the CID, so she does this for all the time. And what she was saying to me is we've never actually met all I'm talking to. I'm just seeing someone behind a keyboard somewhere. So my thought went, we've never actually met face to face. Every time we try and talk on the telephone, it's always some excuse I should have out the place. You can't get a good reception, etc. So it just it starts to cost too many money. I noticed that he was spending a lot of time talking to her on Facebook and that big red flag for me obviously. So I brought it up to him and I had a look through all of his messages and things like that and asked a few questions. Sometimes dog fishing can get very expensive and lawyers can't get involved, so it can be very bad for the person who it happens to. So, have you ever given them anything? Uh, yeah, over the years, we're probably in thousands of dollars now. It's just things that you'd expect two people who are together to give to one another. For example, uh, when her television set broke, went down to Best Buy, ordered a new one, sent it over. Uh, was ill, so I sent the money to go and see her, again, hotel rooms, things like this, stacked up all the years, so probably at about four thousand dollars now. So, how would it make you feel if you were being done first? Just feel cheated more than anything else. It just make me feel that I've been so stupid as to let someone into my life and just blatantly lie to me when there's nothing I can do. That's why dog fishing can be very dangerous and can cost you a lot of money. Just be careful and see you next time. Bye. Here lies a city. 